free it round, but you know, uh, once I'm back to the corner, we're totally keep the box. And there's no point. We can show we can fade if we want, but there's no point in taking unnecessary shots. But yeah, I was happy enough with the performance. I got the win. It was comfortable. Um, I, if I if I was scoring it myself, I would have scored it around eight two, maybe even seven three. But you know, uh, I, I was happy. It was it was very a very uh, easy nice work. And is this officially end the chapter with you guys? Like, are yeah, you officially done? Yeah, listen, I have no bad. I had no bad feelings towards Vladimir before the fight, and and I have no bad feelings towards him after the fight. I actually gave him a hug and seen him in the in the medical room after and stuff. So, you know, I'm I'm just happy to to close the chapter of this, uh, you know, the Olympic kind of cycle of my career and move on to bigger and better things because it's kind of been a monkey on my back since I since I turned pro and and the fact that. It's gone now, you know, now I can really focus on, on, on big fights and, and big things, but I'm not focusing on anything yet except Christmas. Okay. Right here. Chen, we saw how in the first rounds you were, you were using your feet, you were boxing smart, but then towards the middle of the fight you decided to bite down and just bang on the inside. What, what made yeah. you decide to, to switch it up like that? Yeah, I, I knew that... You know, if I, if I needed to go in inside and, uh, and fade him on the inside, I, I, I'm actually a lot better at f inside fading than him because he throws a lot of wild shots and, you know, leaves his head there at times. But, you know, uh, it was just something I wanted to do just to show him and let him know. And I, I think I did. I, I know I hurt him an awful lot. He, he was actually very hard to hit the body at times because of the way he was leaning over forward. So it, was, it felt like I was reaching. So I just kind of went back to picking shots after that. All right. Thank you, champ. Okay. Michael, what's next for you? Um, how do you like fighting at Madison Square Garden? Yeah, listen, I love fighting at Madison Square Garden, and uh, I'm very, very grateful. The box here, it's, it's the world's greatest arena, and they've got the world's greatest people working here. Um, you know, I, I'm looked after very, very well. Every time I come here, they treat me like a king, and, and you know, I, I couldn't be more grateful. The likes of Sal, Joel, Laurie, Joanne, Bill, every, every, everybody here, Dan. You know, they, they all treat me really well, so you know, I'm very, very grateful. And uh, what's next for me is what I, I, I'm going to watch Mariah Carey tomorrow night. I'm not thinking about anything else, so that's what's next for me. I'm not thinking about next fates or what, who I'm going to fight. It, what, what's for me is enjoy Christmas with my family and you know, have a rest. How do you rate your performance tonight? Yeah, I, I could have been a lot better. Um, you know, I maybe could have got the stoppage. I, I really, I do, I do believe I could have got the stoppage, but you know, it was, it was big pressure going into the fight. But I'm glad I got the monkey off my back. Hey, Mick. Done. Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you, everybody, for coming out.